we recognize that a service desk should be flexible enough to work with different kinds of data. This is why PlumSale offers a handy instrument to customize your lists and forms in Help Desk. The ticket data is stored in the tickets list. Chances are the default ticket list structure does not include all the fields you require to fully capture your service desk cases. For example, you may need to store an order number in the ticket for future reference. First, we need to add a new field to the list. Click on the Add Column button in the List header row. Enter the name for the new column and a small description. We'll add a field for storing an order number in the ticket. Note that the new field will be added for the current view only. To show it elsewhere, navigate to another view and use the Show Hide Column option. Don't forget to save your view after these changes. To view the field when creating, opening, or editing the ticket, you need to add it to the ticket forms. To customize the form, you need to install another PlumSale app, PlumSale Forms. We offer a free license for PlumSale Forms to customize the tickets and contacts forms in Help Desk for most of our subscription plans. Please consult our documentation to see if your subscription plan is eligible. To start using PlumSale Forms, please navigate to the product page on PlumSale.com and click on the Start Trial button. Select Forms for SharePoint Online and download the desktop app. Run the installation file on your computer. To connect to Help Desk, run the app, choose SharePoint, and specify your Help Desk site URL. You will see a drop-down option for all the lists on your Help Desk sites. Choose the required one, in our case, the tickets list. Now you can see your ticket form in the form editor. Notice that there are, in fact, three forms for each list. New, Display, and Edit Forms. Usually, most of the fields are duplicated through all the forms, but you may wish to add certain fields or interface elements to some of those only. You will see a list of all the fields for the chosen list on the left. Now you can just drag and drop the field to place it on the form and save it. Please note that in order to apply the changes to all the forms for the list, we need to save the results each of the new, display, and edit forms. Furthermore, you can customize the look and behavior of the form with new tabs, accordions, and wizards. Please refer to the PlumSale Forms documentation for a detailed description of all the options available. You can customize the form for your contacts in a similar way. At a certain point, you may accidentally apply unnecessary changes to the form you can easily roll back all the changes. In other words, if you break it, don't worry. You can always restore the previous version. Please navigate to the site page's library on your site. Locate the template for a particular form. This is a file in the Extensible Forms Description Language format. Click on the Three Dots menu button and select Version History. Now you can see all the changes you've made to the template. Select a previous version and click Restore. After that, all you have to do is open the form again in the Forms Editor. You will see the restored version of the template. Save it to get your form in line with this version. If you want to roll back all your changes at once, you can always restore the default look of the forms. The backup forms are restored at your Help Desk site. Please consult our documentation to find the URL to the backup forms. Once you download a backup form, run the PlumSale forms as usual and connect to the list. Click Import and select the backup form. Click Edit and save the restored form. Note that you need to repeat the process for each of the new, display, and edit forms that need restoring.